Hey everyone, it's the Snakey back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a very short video. Cyberpunk 2077 has finally released after years of tears and anticipation and more tears recently when it was delayed again. But finally we get to play it and uh, does it live up to expectations? Um, it's pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that any game that comes out now will be hard to live up to expectations. And of course it's had that kind of buggy, uh, well not so much buggy, but just poor console launch as well on the on the uh, previous gen consoles. It's having a lot of issues there. But anyways, we're not, we'll talk about that in another video. I'm going to have another Cyberpunk 2077 video coming up very soon. Today I want to address an issue where you can change the bindings of certain keys in the game. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to solve that by finding the actual config file for Cyberpunk and changing them that way. So the one I want to do is the inventory key. So we're going to go into the hard drive the game is installed on. In my case, it's here in my Steam apps. I'm going to go to common and I'm going to find my Cyberpunk 2077 folder. Then when you're in here, you're going to look for an R6 folder. Click on that. Go to config again. And the config file you're looking for is input user mappings. And in here, you can change the values of loads of different keys, even ones that don't show up. It's like some people are having the issue where they wanted to change from WSAD to the arrow keys. All that, as far as I know, can be done from in here. But anyways, we're going to go Control F, and we're going to search for inventory. And uh, I'm going to search down. Now, the first one you're going to come across is this inventory button. Uh, for me, this brought me to this sort of hub. It's not actually the inventory. It's like a hub menu where you can access loads of different um, options. But it doesn't bring you straight into your actual, your actual, your actual character, um, the preview of what they look like. That's where I wanted to go. So for that one, you're going to go down again, and you're going to look for open inventory menu underscore button. That is the value that we're looking for. And initially it will be on O. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave all this as it is. And it's going to be IK underscore you change the O to G. Or any other key that you want. The reason I changed it to G was because just it was closer to where WSAD was and my finger was resting. It's a real first world problem. But, you know, for people who might have, um, you know, sort of mobility issues, their hands or things of like that or any sort of disability, it, it could be good for that. You know, changing around keys, especially one that you're going to be using as often as that uh, is really a necessity. And I don't know why they don't let you change it, but uh, maybe it'll be in a future update. So as I said, you can change around loads of other values here, but that was just a quick video on how to rebind keys keys that don't appear in the menu. I'll see you in the next video where I'll be showing you some gameplay of, of Cyberpunk 2077 and we'll have a bit of a chat about the launch as well. See you in the next one guys.